35 Biggest Dogs in the World While some people like their dogs tiny and purse-worthy, the rest of us think these giant breeds are just as trendy or at least just as lovable. Central Asian Shepherd Dog The Central Asian Shepherd God, or Central Asian Novkarka, is the most popular breed in Russia. Greater Swiss Mountain Dog The Greater Swiss Mountain Dog is a muscular farm dog bred in, surprise, Switzerland. Lanzer. Sure, some dog breed snobs would say that the Lanzer is just a black and white Newfoundland. But the Federation Sinologique Internationale considers them their own breed, and that's good enough for us. Kangal Dog. This Turkish livestock dog is related to the Mastiff. He is suspicious of strangers, but very friendly with children. Perro de Presa Canario. This dog's name in Spanish means, Canary Catch Dog. This breed is relatively new to the world outside of the Canary Islands. Borzoi The Borzoi looks a bit strange, so his name is almost fitting. He's sort of like an Irish wolfhound, but with softer and fluffier hair. Bernie's Mountain Dog This Swiss farm dog is so large that it was once used to pull carts. Leonberger this German dog is also called the Gentle Lion, because of its appearance and sweet temperament. Merma Sheep Dog This Tuscan Sheep Dog is a hard worker and great companion dog. He's also very fluffy. Black Russian Terrier This highly intelligent hodgepodge of a dog was bred using a variety of different breeds, from the Newfoundland to the giant Schnauzer. Dogo Argentino while Dogo Argentino sounds like some idiot trying to say Argentine dog, I assure you that this is indeed a dog from Argentina. This guy is used to hunt wild boars and other big game. Afghan Hound Ah, the Afghan Hound. The dog that could be in a shampoo commercial. Kuvas The Kuvas is an ancient Hungarian livestock dog. It has wet fur, but black skin underneath. Bully Kutta. The Bully Kutta is yet another loyal and intelligent breed wasted on dog fighting. Hopefully dog fighting will someday be cracked down upon worldwide, and we can finally stop breeding animals for their aggression. Dog de Bordeaux This frowny fellow actually has doge in his name. Anyone else remember that meme and the two weeks when it took over the world? Great Pyrenees if you've got one of these guys in your house they'll move through the halls like giant fluffy blimps. They're very sweet and amazing to sleep on. Like a big fuzzy couch. Bloodhound These hounds are excellent for tracking. Their reputation for it is such that even people who know next to nothing about dogs could tell you that. Akbash Dog I think you'll notice that a lot of the dogs on this list are made for guarding livestock. That's pretty much how and why they were bred to be so big in the first place. Form fits function. It makes sense. Rottweiler Rottweilers were once called Rottlebooter's dogs because they not only herded the livestock, but pulled carts full of the slaughtered meat to market. I've only owned one Rottweiler, but I can't say I could ever imagine her leaving a giant cart of raw meat alone long enough to haul it anywhere. Boer Bowl I like to think of the Boer Bowl as an English Mastiff that someone has ironed out. With a slightly more proportionate head, of course. English Mastiff The English Mastiff is known for its absolutely gigantic head. I'm surprised he doesn't have a hard time holding that thing up. Irish Wolfhound This Irish hunting dog is scraggly and adorable. The Irish have lain claim to them for many years, almost 8,000. Doberman Pinscher. Once bred as attack and guard dogs, Doberman Pinschers are much calmer today than they were years ago. The cropped ears and docked tail are just a trick to make them look scarier. Natural Dobermans look nowhere near as intimidating. Anatolian Shepherd. The Anatolian Shepherd is a very old Turkish breed that's been used to guard livestock for as long as 6,000 years. Newfoundland. Newfoundlands may be strong, 
but they're also very calm and fantastic with children. They are good water dogs and like to swim. Neapolitan Mastiff Look at how mushy he is. Don't you just want to squish his folds? This Italian breed is very protective, if not a little stubborn. Bull Mastiff He may be huge and muscular, but the Bull Mastiff is actually very docile and obedient. He makes a great family pet, even if he tends to drool a bit. Giant Schnauzer The Giant Schnauzer was introduced to most people during the World Wars, where it was used as a military dog. Until then, it led a cushy lifeguarding livestock in Bavaria. Alaskan Malamute The beautiful Alaskan Malamute looks just like a Siberian Husky, only twice as big and with much more muscle. Saint Bernard the St. Bernard was the childhood dream dog of everyone who grew up watching Beethoven. Kumder. Kumders are the best. Look at them. They're just great big mops. Cane Corso. This big fellow is also known as the Italian Mastiff. He's descended from the Canis Pugnax, a dog the Italians bred for war long ago. Caucasian Shepherd. Look at this thing. It fights bears. Tibetan Mastiff. This monster is used all throughout East Asia to protect sheep from leopards. You know he's got to be big and fearless. Great Dane. This gentle giant has been dubbed the heartbreak breed because they only live about nine years. Yikes! That's just long enough to get you attached and then rip your heart out.